So I watched Hard Knocks with the Jets, and I couldn't wait. I actually put it on my calendar to watch and then see exactly how the Jets were going to portray their team, find that one player on the team. You know full well at Hard Knocks how it works. So a guy that's on the edge, could make the team, not make the team. And what I ran into with this football show was just that, a show. It wasn't really even about football. Half of it was just repairing the image of Aaron Rodgers, who I kind of like, but I get now what Duffy's talking about. He has a tone of a voice that you're not quite sure exactly if he's being sarcastic and genuine. I saw more genuine than sarcasm, so I understand them more. He just needs to control the way he speaks to people when he's on camera. And that being said, I sat there looking for the story that's going to give me the reason to watch next week. And I just couldn't find it. I saw I found a head coach, Robert Sala, who was having fun. Everybody marveling at Rodgers. We all knew Rodgers was a pro bowl quarterback, a Hall of Fame quarterback. We didn't need hard knocks to tell us that. We needed to know exactly how committed this team was to winning. And all they were really was just getting to know each other and fooling around and having fun and how much of a relationship Rodgers has with Hackett and all this other stuff. So please give me more in episodes two, three, or I'm going to watch four. Really, honestly, this is just a show, not a football show. Get to the football where we care about a guy who's literally on the edge or a rookie coming in playing. I know about Sauce Gardner. I know about Zach Wilson. I don't care. Give me something that is football related. You got to do better than that with Hard Knocks. Or literally, I'm not watching.